please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Sound Hill, Shattered Memories, Game Thoughts. So before I talk about the plot and the twist, just a few things uh, that I wanted to talk about as well. I quite like the swimming near the end. I really hope that that gets put in more games. You know, it just felt really natural the way they did it. It's really good. Excuse me. And the, you know, the, excuse me, the drowning in the car was also really, really good. Really well done. It really, you know, evokes the feeling of drowning. It just, it was, it was a fantastic thing to do with the whole immersive thing, you know, to have the character basically, you know, nearly drown like that, or potentially drown in that, you know, with, with the water just slowly rising inside the car and the whole thing. That was really, really good. Now, I have not seen the other endings. The one I got, I, I don't really know any of the details about the other endings, but the, the one I got was that, you know, in reality, the whole thing is in Cheryl's head, and she's now, you know, basically an adult. She's, I don't know, 25, I guess. And, yeah, she imagined that her father would come to, you know, try to rescue her. I get the feeling that, you know, I, I read a few... I, I read the titles of the other endings, and I get the feeling that the the part that varies is the characterization of Harry, that, you know, the, the, what, what I got that was unique to my ending, that was specific to my ending, was that he was kind of a hero character. And, you know, Dr. K, Dr. Kaufman is talking about how, you know, your father wasn't a hero, he was just a human being and you just didn't get to know him. But, but yeah, I friggin' love the twist. I did not figure it out. I, I sort of, I, I basically guessed it a few seconds before it was said. You know, the, the you know, the, the thing about, you think you're really Harry Mason, but you can't be, and, you know, he, he died 18 years ago, and the, you know, the, some of the things Dr. Kaufman said there near the end, but then, you know, after all that, it, you know, there were only a few seconds between me figuring out that the person in the psychiatric institution was Cheryl and then the reveal that she was Cheryl. I thought that it was actually going to be, you know, that the, you know, because Harry's coming in there at the end, I thought that he was going to come in and then meet Dr. Kaufman for the first time and then that would be it. But you know, so basically, everything in the game other than the the psychiatrist's you know, you know, testing of you and asking questions and all that. Basically, everything else was entirely in Cheryl's head, you know, or or it was sort of how she would maybe. I guess you could say that what you were playing in the rest of the game was what Cheryl was saying to Dr. K, you know, that, you know, she would describe how her father did this and did that, and, you know, yeah, I, I can imagine that. That's the sort of twist that you really have to do, do well, do right. For it not to feel like a huge cop out. And 
they did it just perfectly. You know, I, I didn't see it coming. I don't feel cheated by the fact that what I did didn't really happen. You know, that instead it was all in the head of this character that, you know, I, I thought I was looking for Cheryl, and in reality, Cheryl just, you know, she wants her father to come find her, you know, which I guess in some of the other endings, it might actually be that she doesn't want him to come back. I think I read about one being like, he's an alcoholic or something, so yeah. But, yeah, they, they just did it really well, and I also think that maybe video games are the right medium for that kind of thing. I think that it might work better in a video game than in sort of the, you know, in film. I don't know, just the, the fact that you're actively doing something and then you find out that basically what you thought you were actively doing, that was just someone in a therapy session talking and describing it that way. That just really works, I think. The but but yes, I, I quite like how the the lighthouse turned out to be the, the clinic. You know, that's also kind of what Dahlia said. You know, oh sure, she's at the lighthouse, you know. And I guess it makes sense that, you know, old Dahlia, I guess, said, you know, she must still be at the lighthouse, you know, she was, yeah, she, she isn't done with her session, basically. I really like how this takes these, you know, because there, there is a lighthouse in the first game, and it's actually, you know, even kind of a plot point, I guess, I'm not going to be spoiling the first game in this video, don't worry. And yeah, these, these other locations you go to, these other people you meet, you know, the death of Lisa, you know, man, because it's just, yeah, it, it really makes you think of something in the first game, I'm not going to be spoiling it, but yeah, and it's, it just, the, the game over and over made me think, but this is almost like this other, but but it's all wrong, you know, and, and that just really helps this feeling of this is all in someone's head, you know, this basically, I guess, in Shattered Memories' universe, the first game didn't really happen, but, you know, or, or the car accident at least did happen, but Cheryl was fine, and Harry died, you know, and yeah, that's, and, and since then she's been focusing on that, and really, you know, obsessing about, you know, her father, what he was like, and how, you know, she wish that, she wishes that, you know, Cheryl would have disappeared then, and the, I also really like how the, that, that's the only time he sees the actual Cheryl, you know, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't meet her at some point, or, you know, there, there's the, the phone calls kind of thing, but, you know, yeah, it just, uh, and, and the, the text you get with, from, from Sybil with, you know, is this your little girl? And, and, and the, the high school, with the picture, sort of, if I, at that point, I did kind of think, she's older. And, and the, you know, they, they do have these hints throughout about, but this is way back when, you know, the, the you know, you meet Michelle, and she talks about how, you know, there's, I went to school with a uh, uh, Cheryl and, you know, a uh, Cheryl Mason, so, you know, but wait, that was 18 years, you know, the, the, that kind of thing, you know, they, they did that really well, and making you think that, and I, I like the, the way, after
after a while I noticed that some of the nightmares, I'm not sure all of them, but some of them occur right after you've gotten a big whopper of a puzzle piece, to quote Marv from Sin City, right after that lands in your lap. You, you know, everything I says over, you know, you're my wife, <laughs> you know, I know you're not Harry Mason, <laughs> you know, just, you know, you, you get these big hints, and that's, you know, and that's why Dr. K says at the end, he did my ending anyway, we're not getting anywhere, this is ridiculous, you know, every time we get closer to the truth, you ice over, you know, some, you know, we, we don't know exactly what happens in, in, I, I don't know, I guess, in reality, she, like, talks about something else. Or maybe she talks about how he would fight monsters instead of talking about, you know, yeah. So, it it makes sense in, in the, the story when you actually know what's going on. And in the game, you know, it's kind of like how in Lost, they would always have this big reveal and then go into a flashback or something, you know. It's... Yeah, it's, it's a good way to keep people hooked, you know, and I think also the, maybe because of the length, the story, at least to me, feels very, very quick. I don't feel like they spend a lot of time, you know, it, it just feels like it's moving along really nicely. Something's constantly happening. You constantly get more developments and more clues as to what's going on. You know, the, I, I never really had time to... That, that's also a very lost in kind of thing. It, it feels like... I think in this, you know, this post-2000 era, we are getting more and more hungry for these... I, I guess it's attention spans that are shortening, really. You know, so we get these stories where they don't slow down, they just keep going and going and going. And I think this is one of the games where that really helps the game, you know. It just... I, I never felt like the story was growing stale or anything like that. I suppose that pretty well covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.